Hey, this is Navit from Creative Minds. Today, let's talk about how to customize the business listing page within your Creative Minds Business Directory plugin. Within the plugin, we have a couple of different customization options already built in, but the best part of this aspect of the settings is that if you have a little bit of coding knowledge, you can easily use the information built into the plugin as a template and create your own business listing page using HTML or PHP. Now, of course, we won't be going over that specifically with this tutorial, but do keep that in mind that that is a possibility should you have those skills. So let's go over what you can do that's already built into the plugin. So let's head to your dashboard over to the Creative Minds Business Directory Pro and down to settings. Under the business page tab, you'll see right up there at the top that you can select which template. We only have two templates currently, but they're both really great options. Heading over to the front end, let's just check out how they look. Here you have the default view and the related businesses that display the icons are smaller than the main icon of the business listing. And you have the year founded and their contact and website information as well as their social um, and the published date down at the bottom. So of course this information is all linked so you can head over to the listing website directly from the listing page. And here we have the new view and as you can see the graphic for the business listing itself is smaller and the related businesses are much larger proportionally but the same information is listed with all of their contact information and published dates. So heading back into our admin panel, let's go through the different settings. You can choose whether or not to display the date of publish as you saw on that listing page. It's over underneath their social and contact information. You can choose whether to show the last date of the business listings page was updated and whether or not to include a meta description. This description is dependent on whether or not there is a business pitch attached to the business listing. And heading on down, you can choose whether or not to display WordPress comments, whether to show a back to the business directory index link at the top of each business listing, and whether or not to show the business's email address. In the next section, you can choose where the business information will display. So you can choose whether or not to show the business's logo at all, and then you will also be able to customize whether or not you want to display the address on the left side or the upper part of the page, categories, whether to display them at all, and the location, and similarly with tags. The related businesses section is a significant part of the business listing page, and you can enable or disable this function. You can also choose whether to show related products and to show related businesses by category as well as customizing the number of related businesses to display. If you want to use a custom taxonomy for your business directory, you can enable this function and choose where to display the custom taxonomy. This section also allows you to customize the, the label of the custom taxonomy both in the singular and in the plural form. Going on down, you can choose whether or not to allow a business video to be accompanied with a business listing. So this will enable a, a video field when somebody is creating a business listing. If it is not enabled when you are adding a business listing under the media section, you will simply be able to add a logo. However, if it is enabled, you will be able to add a logo as well as a video URL. So continuing down our settings, under business page colors, you will have the ability to customize the color palette for pretty much every section within the business page. You can select the color for the background, the text, the link, and the hover for both the social section, the address section, and the overall business page. This can be helpful, of course, for helping you with your branding and overall cohesiveness within your website. And finally, down at the bottom of the settings tab, you will see that you have the ability to enable additional links and fields. So if you want to create custom link labels and a custom link icon, you can do that here for up to four different custom links and fields. With a custom field, you can create whatever additional labels you would like to appear under the social information section. So this is just another way that you can customize your directory to build exactly the directory you need for your site or business. So that's all that I have for you today. I hope you feel prepared to utilize all these great customization options. For more information, visit us at cminds.com. Thank you and enjoy your day.